The Kell Brook versus Amir Khan fight has just ended. Amir Khan suffers a six round TKO loss to his arch nemesis, Kell, the special K Brook. Pretty impressive victory for Brook. Um, and, you know, not so much for Amir Khan. And so coming into the fight, Amir Khan changed trainers. He was going with Bomac, who's also the trainer of pound for pound top three fighter, Terrence Crawford. And so you had to think, you know, would that help? You know, Terrence Crawford decisively beat Kale Brook via fourth round stoppage. So did he have something or have some knowledge that would help, you know, Amir Khan going into this fight? And so what I was thinking is Amir Khan is Amir Khan. So even if he's getting some tutelage from somebody who studied for Kale Brook, I didn't think that going into this fight that it was going to really matter because he was going to resort back to being who he is. You know, as they say, you know, you can have a playbook or you can have Bill Belichick's playbook, but that still won't make you the Patriots, you know. And so going into the fight, you had Brook who last fought against Crawford in November 2020. And then also you had Khan, who he hadn't fought since July of 2019 and a fourth round TKO victory over Billy Dale. And that was another thing that I was factoring in coming into this fight because he was going to really be um, kind of rusty, you know, and then going against somebody who had fought more recent. And then I just think Kel Brook is just a much better fighter. But anyway. As for the fight is concerned, Brooke, he um, started off slow a little bit. I'm talking about early in the fight, maybe the first out, I mean, first minute, first minute, 30 seconds, you know, pretty slow. He looked slow, you know, but then he kind of caught his rhythm. And then once he caught his rhythm, he ended up clocking Khan um, with a short left. And then that caused Khan all types of trouble. You know, he had Khan with the toddler legs. And so you had to give round one to Brooke. And then round two, you know, the on the telecast, they gave Brooke all of the rounds. I, I thought that Khan kind of inked out round two, you know, because Khan, he was taking uh, Brooke's punches better. But at the same time, he also, you know, was landing more punches than Brooke. Not as heavy as Brooke, but at the same time, he was landing more punches than Brooke. So I kind of gave him, or I did give him round two. Round three, it was close to the end of the round. Brooke caught Khan again. Khan was on shaky legs. Round four was close, but then again, at the end of the round, Brooke clocked him with a flurry of punches. And then Khan, anytime he gets caught, you know, it doesn't serve him well, you know, based on, you know, his 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 chin. I think that Khan really Kell Brook has a metal plate underneath his eye or because of the orbital bone injury that he sustained against not only um Triple G but also Errol Spence. I think he has two. And so Khan, he may want to put a metal plate on his chin because anytime he gets clocked, you know, it, it, it's bad news for um, Amir. And then round five was all Brooke. Brooke was just beating him from pillar to post. And then round six, he ended up, um, it was the same thing. Only thing, like going into round six, I was just thinking, I said, you know what? Brooke has this in the back. The only way he can lose this fight is if he tires because he might get weak from the fact that, you know, trying to make 149 pounds and I didn't know if it was a weight clause or something like that in there, um, in the contract, or if Amir just lands something on that orbital ball, you know. But outside of that, he was just whooping Amir Khan. So, you know, congratulations to Kill Brook. You know, he finally got Amir Khan inside the ring. Amir was trying to wait to the best opportunity possible to finally accept the challenge, but it didn't go in his favor. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.